What up, what up? This is KP. Um, real quick. Got a question. I mean, I guess I kind of got my own opinion, which I'm going to share it. I want to ask, who do y'all think is setting these kids up for failure? Um, again, all as I'll say, I know all kids want attention, either good or bad. Uh, and I'm going to speak on the ones who want to be tough, the ones who join gangs, the one who's trying to start their own gang or whatever it might be as far as that. Uh, because, I mean, we all know a gang ain't nothing but a, a handful of people together. They can consider you a gang. But my thing is, with the ones who want to be tough, uh, and and I and I mean I watch videos on YouTube. I know a lot of kids, uh, and I could watch a video on YouTube or, or a documentary because I've seen a couple documentary of kids in certain areas that's supposed to be a tough area. I could watch the video until. It could be 10 to 12 kids in that video or documentary. I could tell every last one of them kids be soft as cotton. Um, the way they talk and the way they say things, you could tell they super soft. And it's always that one main guy that's doing all the talking, which I can tell that's probably the leader of that little bit of group. Um, He's probably the toughest one out of that group. But you can always tell they soft just by the way they speak in, the way they carry themselves, the way they stand in, the way they looking around. Oh, like, you can always tell, like, it's a bunch of paranoid kids that's worried about probably nothing. They, they'll see any kind of car ride by, and it would be a 90-year-old grandma riding in the car, and they would be like, oh, it's just, that's the op. And it would be a 90-year-old lady that's just riding by. Uh, but you can always tell, like I said, that a lot of these kids are scared. And what I see in a lot of these documentaries, too, in videos that I see with these kids that be running like that, a lot of them, you could tell they was playing sports or something because a lot of them look like they might be athletic and they probably play football or basketball or something. Uh, and I don't know if the case is that maybe – they wasn't good at that sport or if their parent couldn't afford to pay for a sport or they just, again, they just quit the sport because they didn't like the sport that it was or whatever. Um, but you can always tell just, again, with that demeanor too, that a lot of these kids, probably athletic kids that didn't play the sport. And what they probably did, just like a lot of kids do, and I can speak on it because I'm a coach. A lot of these kids will follow another kid for fun or whatever the case may be. So these kids might all been on a basketball team or a football team together. Uh, and then all of a sudden one joins a gang and then all of a sudden all of them go join that game because the one joined it. And I could speak on that for myself. Cause I said, with me, I grew up, um, I've been playing basketball my life. Uh, played football a couple of years but most of my homies that I grew up around all were pretty good at basketball all were pretty good at football um, and when they was trying to get me to join gangs I knew I wasn't going to join no gang I mean I could have it ain't like it couldn't have been done but I could say I was good at basketball and I wasn't finna waste my talent trying to go do something like that. And I'm not even gonna say I didn't do the same stuff that they was doing, but I just didn't go join a game just to fit in with them as far as that part. And I mean, and I can say <clears throat> the homies I did grow up with, most of them did support what I was doing. I think they probably saw that I was good at basketball and they was more supportive of that of, yeah, you go ahead and play basketball. And you know what I'm saying? They was pushing me for that. But I think that wasn't even because they, it wasn't like they didn't think I couldn't be in the game. It was probably more of they saw that I had potentials to do it. 
So these was my brothers, my cousins, before they turned cousins as far as on the crip side of anything. Um, and I will say on the crip side, I think, because I ain't got that many blood friends, but I mean, I got a couple that I know. Um, but again, back to what I was saying, these kids are running around here looking for some kind of attention, any kind of way they can get it. And then again, they just latching on to their friends who are thinking, oh, let's go do this, let's do that. And think they and they join the gang or join, again, it don't gotta be a gang, it just be they little set that they think is tough that's starting banging and doing all this stuff. But um, again, in my opinion, like I said, I've been coaching for years. I've coached over a hundred kids in life. I've had a few kids that try to b- pretend to be gang members and say little gang stuff. And I can say one time, I remember telling these kids that was trying to say blood to me. I said, y'all keep on saying that to me and guess what? I'm gonna take y'all right to my hood and I'm gonna drop y'all off. Matter of fact, I ain't even gonna drop y'all, but I'm gonna sit with y'all right here in the hood and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let somebody beat y'all up and see how tough y'all really was. Them kids didn't believe me. But when I told them I said I will do it, they was, I mean, they didn't believe me, but I think they did believe me because they was like, Coach, you wouldn't do that. I said, yes, I would. Keep doing that. And I know they believed what I was saying because they quit saying all that gang banging stuff to me. So they knew off the top, like, okay. Um, another scenario, I had some kids trying to be tough with me. We over in Wichita, Kansas. These kids trying to be tough, talking crazy to me. I went and found some kids around the corner and told them, hey, I'll give y'all $20 just to run up in this room real quick and scare the crap out of these kids in here. The kids took that $20. I went over to open the door up and like was pretending. I gave them the right away. I text one of the little fellas. They ran up in that room so quick and the boys that I was sitting there coaching probably pee day pens because one of them took off running one way up the stairs because he was outside the door the other one got up and like started tugging running like they was finna and they couldn't get out the hotel room but it was funny though um but again i know a lot of these kids running around here and i, I mean i gotta say chicago is california is all that and i could be wrong but i guarantee you anybody that watched this video who is a part of any gang or any kind of posse or whatever you a part of i guarantee there's not nobody that can get on this thing and tell me that they wasn't ever in playing the sports um and then what's so crazy is these kids be playing their sports and they ops was probably their teammates so the people that they was playing on these sports with putting their hands in, saying family, whatever, the, let's go, whatever the case may be, have now turned to their ops and now they banging against each other. And at the end of the day, for what? But again, what are y'all thoughts? I feel like most of these tough guys, as I said, are really nice little kids who are looking for attention, who play sports. What do y'all think?